having collar issues. It's not staying. Welcome to That's a Thing, a series where I like to explore different concepts that I find on the interwebs or social media. My name is Dana, and I'll be your guide. As always, the links to my sources will be in the description. I don't know about you, but I haven't worn press-on nails since like middle school. And I will be honest with you. I've never had acrylics professionally done before in my life. I mean, I've had mani petties in salons before, but just staying there for acrylics and it just was always so smelly to me. I just really couldn't sit there for that long and get my nails done, have acrylics put on. It just wasn't me. And then you got to get fills and maintain it. It's just <sighs> too much. Now in cosmetology school, we did learn how to apply acrylics. And I think I've said it before, I was not the best and I'm still not the best. A nail tech, I am not, but I'll just stick to hair and makeup. <laughs> but I do like to play around. So on myself, I'll try things on myself, but if I'm not good at something, I'm not gonna charge for it. So ask my daughter. <laughs> on one of my quests for less toxic cosmetic ingredients. I thought I would look to see if there was a company that sold non-toxic or less toxic nail glue. I did find a couple of companies that sing their praises and swear that they have non-toxic nail glue. Me being me, I like to dive into ingredients. To my surprise, I found that the ingredients in these non-toxic nail glues are actually not that far apart from what's in regular more toxic nail glues. So I was like, what's the point? <laughs> what can a girl do? I actually stumbled upon a blog with a self-proclaimed crunchy mom who also likes to go into ingredients and research products and ingredients. The link to her blog is also in the description. But in this particular blog, it talked about the ingredients, which I'm about to. And it also gave a very interesting alternative to using nail glue. And that alternative was clear nail polish. Today I'll be trying out Static Nails Nail Glue and Karma Organics gel finish top coat and compare the two with the press on nails of my choice. I want to go over quickly the ingredients in the non-toxic nail glue. The first ingredient is ethyl cyanoacrylate. This ingredient rates between a one and three on the Environmental Working Group's website. It scores in one in all areas except for use restrictions, which comes in at a three, as it can be an irritant. If it is in a liquid form, like in this case, in the nail glue, then it poses less of an inhalation risk as opposed to a spray or a powder form. This ingredient in this product is used as a bonding agent. Polymethyl methacrylate. This ingredient is rated between a one through four on the Environmental Working Group's website. It scores as a one in all categories except for allergies and immunotoxicity, which comes in at around a four. The safety of this ingredient is also dependent upon contamination from toxic ingredients. Just like the first ingredient, the polymethyl methacrylate, it's generally considered safe as long as it's not inhaled, like the sprayer powder form. And it's not considered a carcinogen. This 
ingredient is referred to as acrylic glass and it's kind of a, a cross between like a polycarbonate and actual glass. It is known as a BPA alternative. Believe it or not, this substance used to actually be in contact lenses and it is currently used in dentures. Butylated hydroxy, hydroxyanosole, BHA. It's not beta hydroxy acid in this case. <laughs> For some reason, I couldn't get a clear rating range on the EWG website but it may be in the low to moderate or yellow range. I think I'm gonna do a separate ingredient dive on this ingredient because there's actually more to it than what I'm gonna go over. I'm just touching briefly on the ingredients in this nail glue. For now, I'm just gonna let you know that it is used as a preservative and an antioxidant in this case. It's also considered an endocrine disruptor, has been flagged for organ system toxicity, an irritant, and a possible carcinogen. Yeah, I know so much for non-toxic, right? <laughs> and here I am. I'm about to put on my nails. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> what, I don't, what, what I wouldn't do for science <laughs> or beauty. The other concerns is the removal of press on nails. You can either wait for the glue to lose its tackiness and they just fall off, or you can soak them usually in like an acetone. Karma Organics offers a non-acetone polish remover. And I've used it before to remove my nail polish and it's more of like an oil than acetone, so it's worked really well and gently to remove my nail polish, including the glitter ones. Although that's a little bit harder to do, but it still, it still does the job. Just have to be more patient. Now I haven't tried it on removing press on nails. Like I said, I haven't even used press on nails for years. So if I get tired and they haven't popped off on their own, then maybe I'll try soaking them in the Karma Organics and see if that's actually good to remove the glue or the adhesive from the press on nails. So I guess that's another experiment I'm gonna be doing this week. My million dollar question I ask in Ingredient Dive is, should you use it? And like I always say, it's up, completely up to you. At the moment, I'm not too worried about trying the static nail glue, just because I really don't use, uh, I really don't use press on nails often, if at all. <laughs> and the main toxic or irritant level happens when it comes in contact with your skin. So I'm going to try my best not to get the glue on my skin and if I do, I do have some remover on hand. Uh, I have a nail polish remover from Mineral Fusion, which says it gently cleans and preps nails, non-drying and acetone free. I think I'll put a link in the description of this too, but I like to use this to kind of dehydrate my nails as well as as a polish remover. If I insisted on applying press on nails constantly, then I might think twice about using the non-toxic nail glue. In my opinion, the most problematic ingredient is the BHA. Now it is listed in the ingredients as almost the lowest second to like red, Seven, I think even though the ingredients that are at the lowest part like at the bottom of the list of ingredients listed is you know BHA is like second to last I still would consider not using it as often again that's my opinion so do your due diligence and look it up yourself and then make that decision based on your findings
Okay, enough of the boring stuff. It's time for me to try it on my nails. I think I'm just gonna alternate which method or adhesive that I use on my nails on each hand. So I don't overuse one hand and then they fall off and then that's not fair. So anyway, enough about that. Sit back, relax and enjoy the video. I have already pushed back my cuticles. Now I'm going to take off some of the shine from my nails by lightly buffing them. And I didn't show this part, but I actually buffed the inside of the nails as well. Now I'm gonna use my non-acetone nail polish remover to take off any remaining residue and oils off of my nails. I'm going to start with the gel polish and I'm going to lightly apply it onto the fake nail. And I'm gonna try my best not to put on a heavy coat. Actually, this was really thick and sticky, so I made sure not to put too much on the nail or my natural nail. While I let the nail polish set on my pinky, I decided to do the same thing on the nail of my middle finger and my natural nail. Next, I apply the nail and I'm holding it for about 30 seconds. So I moved on to the middle finger and I'm just not showing everything that I've done because that would take way too long. I decided to use some removable tape just to add extra pressure to my nails. And you don't have to do this to the usual or traditional nail glue ones, but I just decided to do it anyway. Next, I applied the nail glue to a little bit to the nail as well as my natural nail. Once the adhesive is applied, I press it onto my nail for about 30 seconds. I did this to all my nails, and here is the result. They're really light pink with a white flower. So pretty, I love them. Well, that was interesting. <laughs> um, hmm. As far as I can tell, I didn't get any glue on my fingers, my fingernails, or my cuticles. And this is the result. I like them. Um, I think I'm gonna have, I'm, I'm waiting for the adhesives, the glue and the polish to dry fully, to set, to cure however you want to say it. Um, so I'm going to take it easy for the rest of the evening. I was going to do dishes, but I guess I have an excuse not to. And so, yeah, I'm going to wear these for the week. And I don't know if I'm going to record another video for next week or if I'm going to wait a couple weeks. So the pinkies, the middle fingers, and the thumb on my left hand is the clear coat or the clear polish. The ring fingers, the pointers, and the thumb of my right hand is the static nail glue. So as you saw in the video, I taped the nails just so I could have like extra pressure on them to have the glue or adhesives uh, give it a chance to set. A little better. I don't know if I did my pinky nail okay. I don't know. Again, I haven't done a press on nails since middle school, maybe high school, but we'll see. There are people out there who are nail techs and they do amazing press on nail jobs or people who just do their press on nails at home and they've done it for ever and they're just amazing at it. 
I'm not there yet, <laughs> but that's okay with time. We'll see. Again, I'm not like a nail person, so I know these are going to bug me and I'll, I don't know. I'm sure as they pop off, I'm not going to, I won't be sad. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope this was insightful. Have you heard of using clear nail polish in place of adhesive or nail glue? I didn't know it was a thing. Apparently it's a thing. So if you've used it or maybe you want to try it, leave a comment and let me know. I read my comments. I always read my like one or two comments. Keep an eye out for more videos on ingredients and more things and looks <laughs> and as I try and tell things. So have a blessed day. Bye.